Hi guys. I wanted to talk a little bit about neuroplasticity. I was just thinking how in DNRS they talk about um, how the brain is more capable of change when it's been triggered, when it's in a high emotional state. That's when the brain can change more easily. And when they talk about um, neurons that fire together, wire together. And I guess that's like um, when you have a certain event happening in your life and there's really strong emotion attached to it, that's when they fire together and wire together. So that's when you create these neural pathways when they're created during high emotion. I guess that's why like trauma, um, traumatic events in life, and even good things, um, they can be wired and become really strong because they happen during a high emotion. So one of the things that we learn in DNRS is that um, when you are triggered, like by a food or a chemical or an emotional trigger from a relationship or something that's going on in your life, um, they direct us to interrupt that and to go into rounds. Like if, if we get triggered and we're in a place that we can actually do full rounds, we're supposed to go and do the full rounds right after we've been triggered. So that way, when your brain is in that, um, that more uh, neuroplastic state, that you can change the direction, you can rewire in that moment when you've been triggered, when you have that heightened state in your nervous system. And then if you can't do full rounds, you're supposed to interrupt it any way you can, do a partial round in your head, or focus on something in the environment or fake laugh or talk to yourself or whatever you need to do to redirect that neural pathway, redirect that, um, that, that trigger. So neuroplasticity is a pretty cool thing. And I think the better we understand it, the more we can um, understand what exactly we're doing when we get triggered and how we actually do the rewiring. So we can rewire, I guess, all the time by elevating our mood and doing visualizations and stuff, but I guess the, the best time to do it is when we're actually triggered. I've always thought of the triggers as like the physical triggers, like um, especially with food, like when I have a food reaction you know, to work with that and to um, redirect that. But there's also emotional triggers. And I'm realizing that more lately because I have some situations going on in my life where I'm being emotionally triggered a lot. And I realized this morning that I actually need to start training with emotional triggers the same way that I do with the physical triggers. You know, like if I'm triggered because I just um, ate a food and I'm having symptoms. And I'm going to be like, okay, Limby, it's all right. There's nothing wrong with the food. I can handle this, I'm safe. You know, and then if I'm gonna fake laugh or go distract myself, go find something to do that's positive or whatever, whatever I would do in that situation, I need to start training on the emotional triggers too. So when I get triggered, like if I get I'm having a conflict with someone and I feel rejected or I get angry or frustrated or impatient or whatever, instead of just letting those feelings hit me and go into this spiral, um, I need to start training and rewiring with emotional triggers as well. So I just wanted to share that with you guys because um, we, we have to rewire not just with the you know, the physical things, but also with emotional triggers too. So hope this helps a little bit for anybody who's struggling with some of those as well. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.